Okay, this is algebra one. This is the unit six practice test. Unit six was talking about the uh, was talking about polynomials and the properties of polynomials and some of the math operations that go with them. So let's get right into it. So question number one. Uh, so they give you a polynomial. Negative x to the fifth minus five x to the fourth plus eight x squared minus nine minus minus 10 x to the fifth minus 2 x squared plus 4 x minus 8. Okay, so the two things we want to do here. Uh, number one is we want to um, make sure that we are uh, that we are distributing. Okay, so this is a negative one. You can consider this a negative one out front. You want to distribute this so we make sure that we got the right signs. And then the other thing we're going to do is just combine like terms. So I'm going to distribute this and write this whole thing without um, any parentheses. So this is negative x to the fifth minus five x to the fourth plus eight x squared minus nine. And then we have negative 10 x to the fifth positive two x squared negative 4x and positive 8. So all the signs inside this parenthesis just change. Okay, now we're going to combine like terms. So we've got x to the fifth is our largest degree. So we've got negative 1 plus negative 10 is negative 11. x to the fifth, so we're done with those. Um, x to the fourth is our next largest uh, degree here. So there's just one of those. So it's going to be minus 5x to the fourth. And then um, any x cubes, there are no x cubes, so we got x to the second power. Uh, so we have one there and one there. So we got positive eight and positive two is gonna be positive 10. Then with those, um, we have any x terms, we've got one right here, minus four x. And then um, negative nine plus eight is gonna be negative one. That should be my answer. So I've got negative 11 x to the fifth minus 5 x to the fourth plus 10 x squared minus 4 x minus 4. Now I just want to kind of compare my answers here just to make sure I, I got everything typed in correctly. That's 4 x minus 1. Okay, I think we're good. So submit that. Uh, the next question, and again, I just want us to add the two binomials. Uh, so these are binomials right here. Uh, so negative four v to the sixth minus v to the ninth plus negative thirteen v to the second power plus 9v to the sixth power. So, okay, so again, we're going to write it in uh, standard form. So we're going to put the largest degree first, uh, combine our like terms as we go through there. Um, we have a plus here, so we don't need to change any of these signs. We just need to make sure we add like terms. Um, there's no need to rewrite this. I think we can just do it from here. So our biggest one here is negative v to the ninth. And then we've got some v to the sixth power, negative 4 plus nine, that's going to be positive five v to the sixth power and minus 13 v squared. So we've got v to the ninth, negative v to the ninth, uh, plus five v to the sixth, uh, minus 13 v Let's check the signs here real quick. So again, we are just combining, um, right, adding and subtracting polynomials. And so we've got 6a to the second minus 3a plus 7, and then minus. 7a squared minus a plus 8. 
Okay, so we have this subtract right here. So we're going to distribute. This is a negative one. We're going to distribute this negative one and add everything together. So 6a squared minus 3a plus 7. And this is going to be minus 7a squared. Um, this is going to be plus a and uh, minus 8. So the signs inside there just change. And now we'll combine our like terms. So we've got a squared there. Uh, 6 minus 7 is going to be negative 1a squared. Um, and then we'll add the a's. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2a. And we'll add the constants. So we have eight minus, or 7 minus 8 is going to be minus 1. A squared. Minus 2a. Negative a squared. So I'll check my signs there. <laughs> All right, so um, here they give us a, uh, a polynomial. And so they tell us that y is equal to negative 0 0.78 um, x to the fourth plus 2.8 x to the third plus 24. So x represents the number, the billions of flu viruses, virus particles. And y, I'm oh sorry, x represents the number of days. Y represents the billions of, two, of, of flu bark flu virus particles and X. So this is Y represents billions of flu particles, flu virus particles, and X represents the number of days. So it's the number of days um, since they were infected. Right? And what they're asking you to do is they're asking you to find um, the number of virus particles in billions after four days. So really what they want to know when X equals four, right, what is Y equal? And so um, we can put all this in here and calculate it, but a much better way to do that is to go to Desmos. You know, there are other Desmos calculators, but I just go to the graphing one because I could do just about everything I need there. And so I'm just going to put in this equation. Just to save myself some time here, copy and paste. Make sure I've got an x to the fourth there. And an x to the third. Okay. So I can see that graph there. And so uh, you know, if I want to look at the graph, so here's, here's the infection, um, right? So here's day zero, right, when the person is infected. And so you see it jumps up and then it kind of peaks and then it drops off really quickly. And so they want to know. Um, when x is equal to 4, so I'm just going to turn this into a table of values. I'll come up here, choose the little here, get that little table right there, and it tells me the x values and the y values, and so I can see here at 0 days, right, there's 24.8. 24.8, I actually wrote this down wrong, didn't I? 24.8. Um, and then it increases on day two, and I'm interested in day four, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in day three, and day four, and day five. And you can see somewhere between day four and day five, um, we hit a zero there, right? So we get a little, out, a little over four days, all those um, virus particles are gone. So looking at day four, that's gonna be 4.32, that's gonna be 4.32 um, billion. Four point Three, two, okay. Next question. Um, so this one they're asking us to just uh, to multiply this out. So question number five here. We've got six x to the fourth, five x squared minus three x minus four. Um, 
So this is just the distributive property. I'm just going to multiply this times everything in there. Um, so the 5 times 6 is 30. x to the 4th and x to the 2nd is going to be x to the 6th power. And then 6 times 3 is negative. That's going to be negative 18 x to the 4th and x to the 1st is going to be x to the 5th. And then 6 times negative 4 gives me negative 24. And then we'll just have an x to the 4th there. Okay, so it's distributing. This times that times that. And so we end up with uh, 30 x to the 6th. Minus 18 x to the 5th. Minus 24 x to the 5th. Double check my sum, make it positive, negative, that's not right there. It's not right there. Five. Okay. All right, I think that looks good. Okay, number six. They're just asking us to, uh, to go through and multiply those together. And then they're saying that the, um, the answer can be written in the form cx to the p. And so c represents the coefficient and P represents the power. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and multiply these out. This is 8x uh, times 6x squared. And so again, we multiply the number. 6 times 8 is 48. And x times x squared is going to be x cubed. X to the third, so 40 x to the P, x to the third power. Our coefficient is going to be 48. Our power is going to be to the third power. Seven. Uh, again, we're multiplying this. Uh, so now this one is two binomials. So we've got um, okay, two binomials. Uh, so what we can, we can do here is we can FOIL this, right? Or we can use an area model. And I think just just to kind of mix things up here, I'm going to go ahead and do an area model of this. And so I've got uh, 3x and then uh, positive 4, and then I've got 2x and negative 5. And then I'll just fill out this table. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Squared. 2x times 4 gives me 8x. 3x times negative 5 gives me negative 15x. And negative 5 times 4 gives me negative 20. And I've got some like terms here and here. So I'll want to combine those together. So my answer is going to be 6x squared. And then I've got negative 15 plus 8. So negative 15 plus 8, that's a difference of 7. So it's going to be negative 7x. And then minus 20. Okay, so there should be our answer. The alternative way to do this is to FOIL this, in which we do the, the first ones, right? We do the outside ones, we do the inside ones, and we do the last one. So we just multiply everything in the first one times everything in the second one, and we end up with these same numbers. We just kind of write them out in a different way. We've got 6x squared minus 7x minus 2. This up there. So minus 20. Minus 20. Uh, see, I wrote it down wrong. So minus 20. There we go. Okay, number eight. I'm going to do the same thing. We're just multiplying these out. We have y plus 2 times 2y minus 2. And so uh, this time I'm just going to go ahead and, and use the distributive property. So we'll multiply everything in this by everything by this, in this. So I'm going to go uh, y times 2y gives me 2y squared. And if I do y times negative 2, I get negative 2y. 2 times 2y gives me 4y. And 2 times negative 2 gives me negative 4. And so I've got 2y squared. Combine my middle terms, I've got 2y minus 4. 2y squared plus 2y minus 4. 
problem. It's minus five times two x plus five. So I'm just going to go ahead and multiply this out again. So 2x times x gives me 2x squared. x times 5 gives me 5x. Negative 5x times 2. Negative 5 times 2x gives me negative 10x. And negative 5 times positive 5 is negative 25. And we combine our like terms here. We get 2x squared minus 5x minus 25. So we've got a little more complicated um, problem here. We've got uh, three polynomials, right? We've got a monomial and then two binomials. Uh, and so we're going to do this in a couple of steps here. So we've got 5z. We've got 3z plus 4. And then we've got z minus 6. And so I'm going to ignore this 5z for a second. In fact, I'll just write it down here. And then I'm just going to combine these two. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply these. So 3 times z gives me 3z squared. 3z times negative 6 gives me negative 18z. 4 times z gives me 4z. And 4 times 6 gives me negative 24. Combine my like terms. 3z squared. Uh, and now I've got uh, minus 14z minus 24. So now I just need to do this final distribution here. So I'm just going to multiply 5z times everything inside here. So 5 times 3 is 15. z times z squared is z to the third power. Uh, 5 times 14. Uh, 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 4 is 20. Um, so that's going to be 70. And it's going to be negative 70. And then z times z gives me z squared. And then 5 times 24. So 5 times 20 is 100. 5 times 4 is 20. So that's going to be 120. And it's going to be negative. And I've got a Z on there. So 15 Z cubed minus 70 Z squared minus 120. Check out the right variables, double check my signs and my numbers. Okay, so um, here we're asking to, we're asked to do a little more complicated um, arithmetic here. First, we've got to square these things. So 7 plus x, uh, sorry, x plus 7 squared, and x minus 4 squared, and then we're asked to subtract them. So follow order of operations, right? When we do these, we're going to do the squaring first. Right, so let's go ahead and write this out. We've got uh, x plus. All right. You have a hot class in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you took a lot of stuff to pass. Okay, got interrupted there. Apologize for that. Um, let's go ahead and do this. So we've got seven uh, x plus seven um, squared, and then we've got minus x minus four squared. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is square this. So this is really x plus 7 times x plus 7. And then this is really uh, x minus 4 times x minus 4. Okay, so go ahead and distribute these or right? multiply these out. So here I have x squared. And here, here, here. And then uh, 7x and then another 7x. So that's going to be 14x. And then I've got 7 times 7 is 49. Minus, and I'm not doing this distribution yet. I'm just going to multiply these together. So this is x squared. Just like this. And then I've got negative 4x, and I've got another negative 4x. So that's going to be negative 8x. And negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And so here I've got x squared plus 14x plus 49. And I'll distri distribute this negative one. So this is minus x squared plus 8x minus 16. And now I can go ahead and combine my like terms here. 
So the x squareds will cancel out. So I'll make a zero. Uh, 14 plus 8 is 22x. And then 49 minus 16 is going to be uh, 33. 22x plus 33. here. Uh, so this is question number 12. So we're just going to multiply these together. Here I've got x plus 2 and x minus 2. Um, I noticed that uh, that these are the same. It's just that one is positive and one is negative. So I, I can predict here that my middle terms are going to cancel out. I'll have a 2x and a negative 2x. And so uh, if I go ahead and multiply this out, I've got x squared. And here I've got 2x and negative 2x. Okay, so those will cancel out and make zero. And then two times negative two gives me negative four. So x squared minus four. That's one of those um, special products that we, we talked through about. Um, so if we, we recognize that pattern, right, we can just square the first, or multiply the first terms together, multiply the last terms together, and know that those middle terms are going to cancel out. And we've got 4x plus 5 squared. So this is really 4x plus 5 times 4x plus 5. Uh, so multiply these, we've got 16x squared plus 2. And then we've got 4 times 5, 4x times 5 is 20. And then we've got another one here. So 20 and 20 is 40. It's 40x. And then 5 times 5 is 25. So that's another one of those um, special patterns there, right? You can see that when we have um, a square, right? That right? it's the first term squared, the last term squared, and then the middle term is uh, 4x times 5 times 2. Right? Two of those. So there, 16x squared plus 40x. So here, the last few, um, they're going to ask us to simplify these. And so this is 12x to the 7th plus 36x to the 5th, all over 12. Okay, now, since I just have a single term down here, right, I can actually just break this apart. So this is 12x to the 7th over 12 plus 36x to the 5th over 12. So if I added those together, they have a common denominator. So if I leave the denominator and add those together. So this is just another way of writing this problem. Um, but the reason I did this is so that it's easy to see that what simplifies here. So I have a 12 and a 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So that's just going to be 1x to the 7th. And 36 divided by 12 is 3. So that's going to be 3x to the 5th. Okay, so we'll go ahead and check this answer here. I think that looks okay. So we're good there. Okay, and then our last problem here. Um, again, we're just simplifying here. So we write this out. We've got 15. Uh, the pens are going to die. Here it goes 15. All right, we got 9x to the seventh power minus 9x to the third power minus 6x to the second power. All of that over 3x squared. Again, we just have a monomial here on the bottom, right? So we can just break this out. So I'm just going to rewrite this 9x to the seventh, 3x squared, minus 9x cubed, over 3x squared, minus 6x squared, over 3x squared. And now I can just simplify each piece of that. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. x to the seventh divided by x squared. Um, let's see, two of those will cancel out. So we'll have to x to the fifth. Negative 9 divided by 3 is going to be negative 3. 
x to the third divided by x to the second. So this would be one x left over there. And then negative six divided by three is going to be negative two. And those x squareds will cancel out. So this should be our final answer here. Okay, so um, so that's all the questions on the unit six practice test. Uh, so um, take a look at those. Your questions will be slightly different than that, but the concept should be the same. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions.